Hey guys, welcome to Pillbox Movies. I'm Hank, and today we're going to be watching the 1985 film uh, Phenomena. This is an Italian horror film by Italian horror savant uh, Dario Argento. You may know Dario Argento from his film Suspiria, the Three Mothers trilogy, Deep Red, uh, Jallo films, other other buzzword terms and stuff. Uh, anyways, this this film stars a young Jennifer Connelly as a student going to live in a boarding school, I think in Switzerland. So a very similar setup to Suspiria. The movie also stars Daria Nicolodi, the co-writer of Suspiria, as well as Donald Pleasance, who we may know from his other stint in horror royalty Halloween. Yeah, the version we're going to watch is the uncut version, uh, which I take it restored 20 minutes of footage to the original film. So, yeah, I'm excited to see what this has to offer. And before we begin, don't forget to click the like button and subscribe to see more old, obscure, and art house films. Okay, okay, okay. Let us endeavor to watch Dario Argento's Phenomenal. Okay, we're starting on a road. Um... There's another horror movie that starts... I mean, a lot of movies start, like, on a, on a road. But I think, um... Some movie starring that one of the old dudes... I think the old dude from Doctor Strangelove. You know, Patton. Right? George C. Scott? What's the horror movie that he stars in? Is it... It's not the other... And I'm not, I'm not talking about, you know, Exorcist 3, obviously. You know, he watches his family get, like, gruesomely murdered in a car accident. The Changeling, yes, the Changeling. I liked the Changeling. I don't know how in all these movies, and by all these movies, I mean this is Suspiria, how in all these movies, these young ladies are expected to uh, n make the journey over to the school by themselves. But it kind of adds to the kind of fabulish quality to it, kind of a crossing of the threshold. This is the initiation of the journey that they take for themselves. Oh my god, I'm gonna be like referencing Suspiria throughout this entire video, and I don't even know what the main character's name is. And it's just gonna be fucking insu insufferable. I'm a foreigner! I'm a foreigner! And I'm lost. She seems young to be the first person to die. Please. This is gonna be something sad. We like kind of the, the panels of shadows, nice vertical lines, the Tony Scott feel. Ooh. Obviously, there's no good ways to die, but strangulation is a bad way to die. And that's why you don't go into strangers' households. What a beautiful location for her to get just awfully murdered in. This is very Shining-ish. I mean, that's definitely Argento, but... The kind of, like, tracking shot through through the labyrinth. Ooh, that's peak Argento! You gotta love how frail glass is in the Argento universe. Sooner or later, it's eaten up by insects. Ooh, are hey. they in charge of a body farm? You're not a girl. You're not a girl. Hey, you know you could cut yourself. Look, look here. You'll cut yourself with this. And that's not a very sharp, Gee, sharp knife at all. It's not or a scalpel. Toy. Oh, I, I forgot to introduce you. This is Inga. Uh, she, she's my nurse. If I pick out something with my laser, she never forgets it. We call them the eight squadrons of death. First comes the common fly. Lays its eggs. Huh. I'm on, I'm, I actually wonder if, um, you know, Argento side. is into, like, numerology and stuff like that. He seems to impart... Days. Uh, a lot of meaning into like numbers in his films. Numbers, numbers possess the power. Calculating the presence and the growth of the flies or the maggots, you can pinpoint the exact date of death. Mm -hmm. Or murder. Murder is not an ex like a mutually exclusive term to death. Murder is underneath the umbrella term of death. So we could say that she lost her head. 
Somewhere between September 7th and 10th. Around my birthday. There's a killer. A vicious killer. Girl killer. We'll get him. Young Jennifer Connelly, unibrow still vaguely intact. It's a very unusual area. People call it the Swiss Transylvania. Why? Oh, I don't know. You are the Corvino girl. Your father is terribly... Yes, isn't he? I Wealthy? Very much. Famous? Look out! No, don't kill it! Please! Don't touch Stop it! Stop yelling! It's a bee! I know! It's a bee? It won't hurt me. Insects never hurt me. Ooh. She's a queen bee. Yeah, it's it's interesting to see the kind of uh, the style that Argento applied on progressively less stylized environments. This definitely still has like kind of like an arch gothic uh, sense to it, but it's not as like pronounced as Suspiria is. I mean, the architecture itself doesn't look gothic, obviously. It looks like neoclassical, but you know what I mean, I guess. Baby food. My parents left it when they came to visit me with my little brother. With my little brother. She called on his birthday. My father ten days. Speaking of the devil. You are the new girl. Not that it's kind, but I kind of, I enjoy the like overbearing motif of elder women like uh, being jealous of or trying to suppress young, virginal, beautiful girls. It's very kind of Snow White-ish. Him. Know him? He's my father. Yeah, of course I do. Have you been to bed with him? Paul Corrido is my father. Oh, sorry. Just some casual incest. You know, there's a murderer around here. A crazy man. Uh, a maniac we should leave them. Kidnaps girls our age and kills them. You, and they then, should close down the school. Can we change the subject? I need my sleep. <laughs> <I'm really tired. laughs> they just blow right past that. Okay. <laughs> Guys, close down the school. This is, is this freaking Hogwarts? They've kind of already, very, I mean, it's a very simple uh, archetype, but they set up a very kind of simple characterization of Jennifer as being, having this kind of like electrodynamic, uh, having older women being jealous of her and her uh, seeking, seeking the, the warmth and affection of a distant father. I can't say I always like Argento, but I do enjoy... He is more experimental than I'd say he's successful, and I admire him for that. Ooh. Is she seeing her insect queen progeny? Oh, come on, those stairs are from Suspiria. Oh. oh my gosh. It's a lot happening at once. Really? Do insects interest you? Yeah, a lot. Mm -hmm. I love them. Thanks. Be careful, you're in range. Won't do anything to me. You look like Greta in that coat. Smell it. It's an odd suggestion. It's uh, giving you a mating call. Uh, do you know what you should do? You should smell this insect. It's sort of sweet. You're exciting him, and he's doing his best to excite you. <laughs> and to think we only just met. Isn't the mating so I love how like uh, how naive and chaste like these protagonists are in these situations in these kind of uh, Dario Argento fairy tales, like. They're put in hypersexualized or suggestive situations, but part of the mythology is um, kind of a, a young protagonist or child protagonist navigating the dark world of adult terrors and adult sexuality and not being too like bruised or traumatized by it, like retaining their innocence and only finding like the the important elements of, of adulthood that are helpful for them 
and casting away the all the rest. It's a strange part of the country. The Swiss Transylvania. Oh my fucking god. Please tell me what this EEG is supposed to do. Now we're doing an exorcist scene. Awaken your psychic abilities, child. Was ist passiert? Das ist natürlich. Das ist nicht natürlich. What is the poet trying to say with these words? Well, who's going to answer? Me. Yes, you, Elizabeth. I Show him, Elizabeth. The poet took the words right out of a BG song. Elizabeth, you've disappointed <laughs> me. Very Setting back Asian representation. Another 20 years. It's just so strange to me that Argento had, like, this rich expression of kind of, like, expressionistic color design, architectural design, art direction in Suspiria that he just casts off in progressive films. Like, there's still style to, like, the shot composition, to, like, camera movement and stuff, but in terms of art direction, so much of it gets kind of, like, flattened out in favor of, like, what's like easily found or natural i you know there are aspects of it that definitely kind of look um kind of stodgy and old but i i'd actually say like the editing style of argento relates a lot to what we what techniques that are utilized these days i think um Argento edits for like uh, pace and excitement and expression in a way that's kind of like more towards the kind of like what we might conceptualize as like the modern like music video style of editing like he is not exactly interested in presenting like linear story or communicating a, a linear progression so much as a, an emotional progression and i think that kind of that kind of style is is like the uh, uh, the stylistic parent of a lot of the kind of editing we see these days like this and tony scott and mtv Sophie. how else would you describe how we edit modern action and modern blockbusters Cool little effect. Go, Firefly. Take her to that dead body. This would be a good double feature with <laughs> Beautiful Mind. <laughs> two movies about uh, two characters suffering from some sort of mental affliction, both starring Jennifer Connelly. Oh, it's the love of the killer. It's a smart little Firefly. It can't. It can't be the headmistress. I'd be so mad. I like that little section. It's like clunky, but I, it makes me think of like the, the toad section in Pan's Labyrinth. Obviously, you know, Pan's Labyrinth, there's a lot of structural similarities to this and to Suspiria because they, they're, they're all operating on kind of like fairy tale dynamics. The glove belonged to the killer. Yeah, I'm sure of it. But why the maggot? The larvae. <laughs> it's gonna be the death moth. And her like only like her friendship is with uh this older male character that is like metaphorically um impotent as described by his uh being bound in a wheelchair. What is this association between insects and the human soul? Is it because of the multifarious? It's because of the transformational of the aspect. And a firefly. It was like it heard me. And it answered my call. And kind of like a fairy tale princess, she has these uh, these helpers, these natural guides for her in the form of the insects. The paranormal powers that are unusual in human beings are perfectly natural in insects. But am I normal? Low-key, 
you know, it's not a genre that this is this would fit well into, but I would love this to like involve into like a uh like a kaiju versus kaiju kind of movie like evil killer of the mansion for of the academy versus insect queen jennifer sleepwalking manifesting a split personality it's true my second personality is emerging suspiria 2018 i communicate mother suspiriorum i am she hey jennifer listen what i'm a spider look i'm a and spider I'm a and we get a little, a little bit of a carry scene. I know it's not. I, 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 I'm not only making these references because these are the movies I know. I can't like really say with any uh, knowledge if these are intentional references, but this movie has some pretty clear like references to horror movie antecedents: Shining, Carrie, the other Suspiria. Aw, oh, you're so pretty, Jennifer Connelly. I love you. Girl boss energy. Cruella moment. I love all of you. Truly giving a read on all of them. Oh! The Bible also refers to the devil as Baal Zibub, which means Lord of the Flies. <laughs> all this, like, supernatural shit happening, and they're just like, yeah, this is perfectly normal. We gotta keep on going with our semester. No, you're not the devil. The only devil around here is the killer. He is a psychopath. If we mean to get him, we have to call on the services of the two greatest detectives ever known. Batman, Sherlock Holmes, L, Light Yagami, Columbo. When you get near to the killer's house, you'll know about it soon enough because the sarcophagus will go crazy and head straight for the dead bodies. This is a cool uh, narrative development, I gotta say. It, it's just like so strange and unique using uh, insect bloodhound, and I just kind of like love the image of this fly in this uh, semi-transparent case. Very kind of talismanic. <laughs> Oh, just going ahead and littering, whatever. It's not like the Swiss Alps are one of the most beautiful places in the world. You know what? I like the white the white sock shoe combination. I would love to see like the the bad skin day that Jennifer Connelly has. Does it even exist? Jennifer, you are supposed to leave. You do not go into the mouth of the cave. What other characters are there even right now in this movie? Like, who could be the killer? There's Headmistress. Are there any other adult characters? So it could be Headmistress, it could just be Random Killer. Anybody that would be like thematically interesting? Oh, just keeping all the bodies like that. <laughs> Jen, get the fuck out of there. Jen. Just far too casual about your circumstances. It's like not... I wouldn't say I, I love it, but it, it's not like, um... It's not like... Uh, consistent in, in terms of perspective, the way that uh, uh, Argento kind of shoots these thrill sequences, these scare sequences. Uh, in most modern uh, iterations, we've kind of like streamlined it down to like try to get it as much from the... Um, getting it as much from the protagonist's no, perspective, no. like the... Um, but Argento doesn't try and like shoot it trapped in one perspective. He like switch from like the uh, protagonist's perspective to like a shot of the object that they're they're looking at to a shot of a, another angle of the household. 
And so it's very stylized and it's kind of very open. I wouldn't say it's like. Boom, 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 boom. I wouldn't say it's as rigorous as our kind of like modern style. Have we not seen any, any of the girls like actually die? Could it be one of the girls in secret? Oh, they're gonna kill the poor monkey. The poor chimpanzee. Eight strength versus killer strength. Who wins? You know, regardless of whether or not there's a killer, I, I think, like, you know, more import would be put on a girl who can telepathically communicate with insects. That seems like a, a big find. Someone there! Why did you stop him if you were just gonna bring him down anyways? Who are you? Poor Pleasance, man. Never gets out well in these things. <laughs> Holy shit. That's a fucking jump scare. <laughs> oh god. This movie took a turn I was not expecting. This this ape believes in vituperative justice. It isn't as if someone got out of your institution, but rather got in. I have no idea what you're talking about, Detective. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's the that's what she's been seeing in her visions. Further down one goes in this place, the more monstrous the inmates become. Told you it was gonna be Dave and Batista. It's a long story. Get me back to Elena. Can you just tell him that there's a killer at the institution at the academy? Do it, Morris. I don't want to be murdered. Yes, I said murder. Burying the lead. The white tie just makes the ensemble. Hello, Jennifer. I told him I would come for you myself. He said I would find you here. Who are you? Okay. Good. Okay, so this is the killer, but who is she? I don't recognize her. I don't know her. And what about tonight? I'm not going to sleep at the school. I'm going to sleep there. I never want to sleep at my see place. The place again. Who is that, though? You can stay with me tonight. Why are the mirrors covered like that? I told you I don't live alone. I have a small son. He's very sick. I cover the mirrors for his sake. He doesn't want to see his reflection. Weird. I about him. He's changed my life completely. Sometimes I think he's driving me crazy. It's an odd thing to say. I'm sorry. He stays in his room with his crazy thoughts. <laughs> okay. Doesn't sound like alarming some? at all. A cup of tea. Okay, but who is she? What did I miss? Oh, a bee. Be careful, it might sting you. Why is she actually taking it? That doesn't seem like a good idea at all. Uh oh, you're in trouble. Something's come around and it's burst your bubble. Uh oh. I don't know why. I don't know why she'd give her poison. Why not give her like a sedative or something? Like the poison would be just like exceedingly easy to regurgitate. Not that I said I wanted to see it on screen. Oh, things I never wanted to see Jennifer Connelly do on screen. Kool-Aid man. I'm loving this like mad, mad last energy she's bringing. She's got some. She's got some nice uh, black narcissus energy going. Some Kathleen By Byron energy. Oh God, I love this this shot. That's amazing. That detective is gonna get mauled. Just. Outright murdered. Not many other horror movies you see using hair metal unironically. Just fucking weird shit you get in your Argento films. 
Yes, Alice in Wonderland vibes. Oh my god. I I I, I talked before about how uh, the other scene reminded me of the 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 Toad sequence in in Pan's Labyrinth. Now I'm like, oh man, like like Guillermo del Toro definitely watched Phenomena when he was conceptualizing Pan's Labyrinth. It is a dead body. How far did that phone fall? God. Hello. I really like some of these kind of like weird, <laughs> these weird images and like uh, scenes that that are are produced and. I'm Inspector Geiger. I want to help you. Oh. 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 I think there's like really kind of like iconographic pieces, set pieces in this movie. Uh, the like maybe connective tissue between them isn't always as streamlined as it could be. Definitely not as much as Suspiria, and people even have their problems with the way Suspiria connects between different episodes, but this has some genuinely kind of like scary fairy tale kind of images. Oh. She has some great Kathleen Byron energy going. Like, pure, pure black narcissus. Oh, it was a little baby child this entire time. I mean, like, honestly, Jennifer, you get, you should go, go out, go leave and seek help. Don't, don't indulge in these, like, little things. He's sick. He's gonna be disfigured. He's gonna be a monster, eh? It's still just a kid. Don't worry too much about it. It's <laughs> just how big is this lady's house? Places you don't expect to find your your uh, Dario Argento movie to end <laughs> on a motorboat in in a river. Oh wow! I didn't know he was a killer the entire time. Yo, my girl's got some pipes! <laughs> it turned into a kaiju movie in the end. Insects versus killer. Oh my god. Set it on fire. That's how you kill Jason. Come on, he stabbed the, the the oil drum for nothing. I am the knight. Too silent, too silent, too silent. Goodbye. Yeah, okay. Yeah, it's, Dario Ardento just thinks he's like an action director now. It's the cleanest river I've ever seen. Just stay dead. Any water bugs you can enlist? It's a very strange movie. It's a very strange movie. Yeah, she's being reborn and everything. It's a very strange movie. I like. I don't know if this is intentional or not, but it's very strange that. Uh, in terms of the the elect the electra of it all, it is very very strange that the the villain of this movie is cast as like a middle aged woman and her son, and the dual heroes are like the the pupescent or adolescent girl and the older men that help her along the way, 
um, the the detective, Donald Pleasance, uh, Shapiro, briefly. I don't want to read too far into it, but there seems to be this kind of, just this degree of, like, Jennifer? inert messaging in this that, uh, you know, the, uh... Oh! He was deceased. But he was my son. I'm gonna kill you to avenge him! It's Friday the 13th. Why don't you call your insects? Go on! Do it! Call your insects! Because oh. cause the monkey learned the lesson earlier on. Chimpanzee learned the lesson earlier on about about the uh, the scalpel being sharp. Okay, I was gonna say something weird before about how there was this kind of like Electra complex story being told that the ultimate pairing of good was uh, an older man and a, a virginal adolescent girl against uh, a matronly woman and her son. Uh, but it turns out the ending is uh, a virginal adolescent girl and her best friends, insects and chimpanzee. <laughs> So fuck my theming and fuck my reading. Not a bit of concern that a family friend Morris is dead. <laughs> Are you hearing this? This soundtrack is madness. <laughs> I'm pleasantly surprised. There's definitely a lot of weird connective tissue in this movie. But there's some genuine like shocks and thrills and surprises that I wasn't expecting. Just just a just a great, great last ten minute beheading. RKO out of nowhere. Yeah. I think it's worth a watch, honestly. <laughs> that was Phenomenon Cut. An interesting, interesting film. If you enjoyed the video, click the like button and subscribe to see more old, obscure, and art house content. <sighs> I'll see you next time. And until then, keep watching good movies.